Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner and another Photoshop Elements 12 video tutorial. Now in this video tutorial, we're going to learn how to take care of wild puffy hair and how to make that hair look a little bit more manageable. Now you would use this technique for if you're doing a portrait and you have hairs out of place, you're going to make the very best uh, hairdresser out there very happy uh, that you actually touched up their work a little bit and made it look a little nicer. So that's what we're going to show you here how to do, and it's very, very simple. So here's a uh, shot with a very, very puffy head of hair, right? Very full head of hair uh, with strands all over the place. Now, a lot of you could be saying out there, well, you know, it could be very easy to do because all you need is the eraser tool. So if we duplicate this background layer first using Control or Command J and get create a new layer, and if we did it your way, if we used an eraser tool and we started erasing some of this, let's so get rid of some of this here. We, let's say we erase some of this here. What happens is when you're erasing is you're chopping the hair out. And you're, you're making dents and, and, and it's not looking very uh, natural when you, when you do this. So you could use a form of eraser tool, but to me you start losing the strands. And that's... You don't want hair to be flat and straight like that. You want hair to be, you know, look like hair. So I'm going to delete that layer. Just delete that, get rid of that. And do another command or control J. But this time we're going to use a tool that is not used nearly enough. And this tool can also be used in Photoshop Elements 11, 10, and 9. Uh, and I believe it's in 8. You'd have to look. I'm not really sure but the tool is under your filter menu so we're going to go to filter and we're going to go to distort and then we're going to use liquify I know you wonder liquify now how's Jack going to use liquify to fix wavy crazy hair well, I was playing around the other day and I found this is really cool technique I'm going to blow this up to 200 here so we can see what's going on maybe we'll blow it up to 300 and we'll see what that looks like there we go now the one I like to use is at the very top and it is called the warp tool. Now you'll take your brush size and just lower your brush size using the left or right bracket keys. So you use the left bracket key to make it smaller, right to make it bigger. And then just start going on the edges and just start pushing down a little bit. Now always push in. Don't ever drag the brush because what you're going to do is you're going to distort the hair. What we're doing here actually with the liquify tool and the warp tool is we're actually moving individual pixels in the hair. So you're moving pixels in is what you're doing. We're going to touch the hair up, but you can see we're still leaving some strands out there. Where the eraser tool didn't do that. The eraser tool didn't allow us to leave those little strands like that. It wanted to erase the whole thing and take all those pixels away. We're just relocating the pixels. We're just moving them around. I'm just left clicking my mouse button and gently dragging down and around the head to make it less full, I guess, or less, if for the lack of better terminology, puffy. And if you mess up, just go inside the hair and push it back up a little bit. Let's go outside and push it down. Now again, this works very well if you're working. Say you're taking a picture outside of some kids and the wind is blowing their hair around well you can kind of control that hair and bring it back in in when you're in your Photoshop elements it makes it really easy to do this it's a really great technique and uh, it's real low-key you know, it doesn't take any time to do it and again you're just pushing the hair back in I've also used this on mustaches, I've used it on beards to kind of clean a beard up a little bit, you know, if it's getting a little bit uh, too crazy looking. And we'll just move some more of this back in here. Again, I'm just moving the pixels around here, folks. It's very easy to do. And you start from the outside and you just push your way in. If you look at the plus, the plus right inside the, of your little brush here, that plus is where you're pushing to, so don't go too deep. And we'll just push this up here. I played around a little bit last night. I was building this uh, demo for you guys of 
getting it off the shoulders. I can actually push it up off the shoulders a little bit. You don't want to distort the neckline or the shoulder there, so you just have to do it a little bit at a time. The same with these straggling hairs. You can just push those in. Just like so. Now let's say if we made the brush a little bigger to do bigger areas at one time, we can definitely do that. We could just... Uh, but again, you got to watch. You don't want to warp the hair around. You want to push the hairs down. You want to make it really easy to do these. So just push your hairs down and move them in with this warp tool. It's a very, very nice tool. Once again, it's under the filters. And it's under filter. Doesn't want to come out there. Filter, distort, and then liquefy. Okay, once you have the hairs all pushed into where you want, I'm going to push me a little more hairs just so we can make sure we can see the difference, and I'm sure we will. You can see it looks like a much better, nice, more tame head of hair. Click OK. And let me show you the difference. If I shut this layer off, that's what we started with. Turn it back on, that's what we have now. Turn it off. And turn it on. So there you have a really, really nice hair do. And again, you can use this on mustaches. It works on all different kind of uh, hair that you can uh, move around and manipulate. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Jack's Tech Corner and another Photoshop Elements 12 video tutorial. And I'll be bringing you more along the way. Please check out my website, jackstechcorner.com and thephotographyguy.net. And either one of those, sign up for the newsletter. And um, we won't sell your email address or do anything with it. Just sign up for the newsletter. And that allows me to pump information out there to you about photography and more about Photoshop Elements. Also, if you don't already use someone else's, and I hope you don't, uh, on all my web pages, there's an Amazon link. If you buy anything from Amazon, folks, anything at all, if you buy underwear, socks, diapers, cleaning products, whatever you buy for your household, not just electronic components or cameras, use my link and then buy. It's not going to cost you anything else, but it definitely helps to keep these shows uh, moving on there. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you back here next time on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.